Ram Ram, Namaste everyone. Welcome you all to the 28th class of Samstutra Shri Bhagavad Today we will start Sandhi. We will begin with Prathana. Shuklam, Varadharam, Vishnum, Shashi Varanam, Chatur Bhujam, Prasan Navadanam, Dhyaye, Sarva Vikno, Pasham, Taye, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakra, Param Brahma, Tasmai, Shri Gurave Namaha. Jnana Nanda Mayam Devam Nirmalas Patika Pritim Adharam Sarva Vidyanam Hayat Griva Mubas Mahe Saraswati Namaste Stubina Pustakadharini Hamsavahana Marudhe Vidya Danam Kurushvame Shri Guru Pyonamaha Om Namona Rayanaya Om Namashiva. There is a small portion of the uh, Upasarkas that is left from lesson 24. But uh, before we proceed, I think in the last class, Akramati, the meaning was uh, given as uh, uh, goes, marches forward or attacks. And then Ukramati, uh, uh, actually the meaning is goes out or gets separated. Uh, this was added to the Akramati meaning by mistake. So I have to change that. I will change that and upload the uh, slides again. So in the Upasarkas, we were doing the Tarati, um, which means crosses. San Tarati is crosses with the help of a boat. Avatarati is to uh, descend. Nis Tarati is uh, to reach the shores of or to come out of, or to cross, basically, to uh, cross the river and come out. This Vitarati is distributes, and Uttarati is both coming out as well as coming out of the river or ocean or to answer Uttara. So, this someone can try just a couple of sentences are there. And Marie Makini. Namaste. Namaste. Vivaha Kale Bandhu Bhyaha. You may uh, one second. Uh, Bandhu Bhyaha Pari Toshikan Vitarati. Uh, Bandhu Bhyaha. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, at the time of the marriage, the uh, distributed distributes hmm. uh, bandhubya by the relatives to by the, is to the relatives. To the relatives, uh, the uh, not prizes, the gifts, 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 yeah. gifts are uh, uh, distributed to the relatives. Yes, Naditaha prathamam utara. Uh, get down Naditaha from the river hmm. Prathamam. Firstly, Uttara is coming down. Avatara uh, is coming down. Uh, Uttara uh, is cross uh, over or to get out of the river. Get out. Reach the shore. Reach so first the... come first come out of the ah. Uttara is also the same like in uh, Uttaram, the answer. Yes. So comes it means from... both. Uttarati. Uttarati is answers as well as reaches the show. Sure. Nadim, so, how? Ah, so, yes. Uh, Nadita prathamam uttara. So, first to come out of the river. First come out of the river. Reaches the shore. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Some translations are uh, a, li a little bit different than the Sanskrit. Uh, yes. yes. And. Uh, this upasarga can give, the same upasarga can give a wide range of meanings, sometimes opposite meanings also. So we can get to know a few meanings of the upasargas. Oh, by the way, can I ask you something? Uh, last yes. time I had an ubhayapadi, prakramati and prakramate. prakramate. When to use one and one, when to use the other? I think uh, they are used interchangeably. Interchangeably, okay. Yes. Thank you. Oh, both are used in respect of the meaning. Ruh, rogati. What is rogati? To climb, to sprout. Ah, to sprout. 
So it yeah. grows, uh, grows, sprouts or gives off shoots. Arohati is to climb. Arohati is to climb. Avarohati. To come down. Uh, Adhirohati is uh, like not just to climb, but to uh, be elevated to a position. So, uh, Adhirohati ascends. Say, a, a king ascends the throne. So, he, it, it's not just uh, climbing up, but it's just, uh, it uh, indicates, it's symbolic of some position. So, it is Adhirohati. But some verbs with adhi were having the sense of going down. I think that was the confusion. Like no, our, our is uh, our. going down. Okay. Our rohati comes down. Our rohati comes down. So in music we have arohanam, which is the scale going up, and avarohanam, which is coming down. Arohanam and avarohanam. It is the lute. Amita Bhagavad Gita. Ram Ram Namaste Bhagini. Ram Ram Namaste. Can you read this? Bijam. Bijam Uptam Ankuratmana Rohati Tata Pallavatmana Bijam Bijam is Seed, seed, ah, it is a seed. Ah. Uptam is that which is sowed. Um, so, vapati is to sow. So uptam so, is the kta pratyaya form. It is a past passive participle. So which had has been sown. The, the sown seed, seed ah. which is sown. Yes. Uh, has germinated and uh, mm. grown shoots. Very good. So that's a nice translation. So the seed has given out fruits and, and, uh, and bears and new leaves. Bears new leaves. Huh. So Ankura is also sprout. Pallava is also sprout, like the small leaves and buds which come out is Pallava. Kapihi. Kapihi Viksham Arohati. The monkey uh, climbs the tree. The monkey climbs the tree. Dripaha Simhasanam Adhirohati. The king ascends the throne. The king ascends the throne. Suryaha Akashar Astagirin Avarohati. The sun from the sky. Um, uh, descends, comes down um, in the uh, uh, during uh, sunset. Okay. Okay. So the sun descends down into the, the western mountain. mountain. So it is called Astagirihi. It's just a, uh, it's not an actual thing. So the it climbs down into the western mountain yeah. from the sky. It appears to do so. Okay. So now we will end the Sandhis. Before that, we will get some. Uh, basic con we will revise some basic concepts uh, so that we are clear about the sandhis when we learn them so these this is a foundation for sandhis
So uh, there are a few questions about the upper circles, which I will take then before we proceed. Can we, uh, did we do the uh, lesson number 30? What is it about? Uh, so I covered upper sargas first and then I'm taking up sandhis uh, before we do the uh, translation exercise so that you know, the, we can apply the concepts of the sandhis in the lessons to uh, revise the sandhis. So that was the idea. Naditaha, what grammatical form is this? Uh, the ta, taha, it's the tazil pratyaya. It means, the, it, it gives the panchami artha. So from, we have seen a lot of it. Naditaha, uh, wherever you add uh, taha, it means from that particular noun. We add it to the noun. As we learned, uh, it is feminine gender. It is not feminine gender. Ankuratmana and Pallavatmana. Uh, yes. Ankuraha, Atma, yes, yes. Aha. Tena. Because Atma is an Akaranta Shabda, it becomes Atmana. Yes. Triti Avadhati. Utkramati also means passes away. Yes, actually the pranas go out, so it is passing away. Uh, I'll come to you. As I had mentioned, uh, Tritiya Vibhakti is usually used uh, like an uh, adverb. So when we are referring to the way in which it grew, it grew in the form of a sprout first and then in the form of a, a small shoot. So uh, whenever it's an adverb, you use the Tritiya Vipati. So Ankuratmana and Pallavatmana Tritiya. Yes. Yes, Ushadi Vatevini. Namaskara, Bhagini. Yeah, like a, we we did. I don't know whether we did this. Like a sad, see that the uh, proceed that the under the um, funky. I've added like, that part. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've added that part. We, I remember we did it, but I think in the slide it was not included. Ah, okay, okay. Dhanyavada. Huh? One more question, Bhagini. <clears throat> that uh, we yoga ati yoga us. So you said vyat yas yati. Could you just explain that, please? Uh, the sandhi you mean? Yeah, like how does it uh, changes? V yoga ati yoga as. Ah, so then, it is a yan sandhi in both the places. So yes, um, syati vyat yas yati. V vyat yas yati. Asyati should be the ending. V plus mm -hmm. ati is vyat. Ati plus as is uh, yes. So vyat yes yati. Oh, that year, where does it come from? The, the year? Ati. Vyat, vyat. In ati, there is an ikara which adds, oh, okay. which, which joins with the akara of the asyati. So vyat yes yati. Okay. Then there was Thank you. So we learned that the different uh, aspects of the Devanagari script are the swaras, the vyanjanas. The swaras are the vowels. Uh, there are rasva swaras and dirgha swaras. There are vyanjanas which depend on the swaras to be for the pronunciation. Uh, ayoga vahas which are the anuswara, the visarga, and the Jihwa Mudiya and the Upadhmaniya. Kunitaksharas are words where Vyanjanas are combined with Swaras in order for them to be pronounced. Sayuktaksharas are joining of two uh, Vyanjanas without intervening Swaras. 
So if you look at this chart, I don't know how uh, clear the uh, font is. Uh, in this chart explains in detail the uh, categorization of the varnas because we need to be very, very clear about the varnas in order to be uh, sure about the sandhi. So the swaras are divided into hraswa, dirgha and pluta. Uh, the hraswa swaras are a, i, u, r, l. Uh, we know that ekara, aikara, okara and aukara there is no hraswa variant. So the dirgha swaras are a, e, u, r, lakara has no dirgha. Uh, so a, i, o, and o. These are, these are the dirghas. Plutas are, all the uh, swaras have the pluta variant, which is a, that is, it has an, uh, a matra kala of three. So a, e, u, etc. are pluta swaras. In Vyanjanas, we could classify them as Vargiya Vyanjanas and Avargiya Vyanjanas. The Kavarga, Chavarga, Tavarga, Tavarga and Pavarga are the Vargiya Vyanjanas. Yaralava, Antastaha, Sha, Sha, Sa, Ha are the Ushma Varanas. And then we had uh, the classification according to Mridu and Karkasha. So the Mridu Vyanjanas are all the Varga, Tritiya, Chaturtha, Panchama, Varnas and Yaralava, Ha. And the Karkasha Vyanjanas are the first and second of each Varga and Sha, Sha, Sa. These are Karkasha Vyanjanas. Alpa Prana and Mahaprana is another categorization. Alpa Pranas are 1, 3 and 5 of the Varkas, Yaralava. And Mahapranas are the two and four, the second and the fourth letters of the Varkas. And Sha, 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 Sa. These are the Mahapranas where uh, more effort in breathing is involved in pronunciation. So the Ayoga Vahas, as I told you, are Anuswara. Uh, they are used along with an Achvarna. So examples are given. Amshukam. There we have a dot above the akara, which is the anuswara. And then visargaha, agaha, the two dots which are uh, next to the ga, that is the visarga. Jihwa mudiya is uh, between when there is a visarga, which is followed by ka, the first letter of the kavarga, or kha, the second letter, we get a Jihwa Mulia. Jihwa is that, Jihwa Mula is that which is pronounced with the uh, end of the tongue, that is the inner end of the tongue, which is very close to the throat. So Upadhmaniya is uh, again the Visarga, which is pronounced just before a P or a P. So the P Palam, Palam is the example given here. So where the Visarga is cut into half. You don't pronounce the complete visarga. We don't say tapaha phalam. We say tapaf phalam. Then there is a fourth category of varnas, which we don't come across that often, which are found only in the Vedas. So we don't talk about them. The, uh, these are uh, called yamas. So there are um, four categories of yamas based on the first, second, third and fourth uh, varnas of the uh, Vargi Avyanjanas, when they are followed by the uh, Anunasika Varga, that is the fifth letter of the Varga. Um, the example given here is Asik Asikani. So when the K Asikni, where the K is followed by an Anunasika Varna, uh, a nasal pronouncement or uh, pronouncing of the K happens. So, and an extra kakara is added that is called yama. So, uh, it is not necessary to know much about the yamas right now. We will focus only on the other three categories of uh, varnas that we already know. So, this also we saw the Maheshwara Sutras. So, 
uh, we saw that Panini has used the Maheshwara Sutras to form Pratyaharas or abbreviations of uh, the alphabet. So the sutras are 14 in number and all the Varnas which we mentioned above are uh, represented here. We don't have the, uh, there is Akara here, there is no Akara here or the Pluta Akara given here. It is just Akara is a representative of all the three, the Hraswa, Deedha and Pluta. And um, at the end of each uh, Sutra, there is a uh, Vyanjana which is added. This is merely for the creation of the uh, Pratyahara or the abbreviation. And it is called an it varna, it samyaga varna. And we will see that as we, as we saw, ach, akara, starting from akara up to the chakara, which is in the fourth sutra, which is the last letter of the fourth sutra. These are all vowels. So, ai, un, riluk, a, o, i, ouch. So, this, these four sutras give the swaras, and the remaining are. Vyanjanas. Uh, Hayavarat Lana Nyamangadanam Jabhinya Gadhadhar Jabagadadash Kapacha Tatha Chatatau Kapai Shakha Sar and Hal. So the Hakara, there are two in uh, included in the sutra the hakara is included twice once in hayavarat and the last one last sutra which is hal mm -hmm. this is because even though it is a uh, mridu vyanjana it is a, it is a mahaprana so it doesn't fit into the shahra sar bhushma category because it is a uh, mridu vyanjana So, uh, in the Sandhi, sometimes the Sutra is also given. So, I will try to explain the Sutra uh, and this will be based on the Maheshwara Sutra. So, it is good to know the Maheshwara Sutras. Uh, otherwise, you can always refer to them and see where it begins and what are the letters that are included in that abbreviation or Pratyahara. So, first we need to know what is Samhita. Samhita is... Uh, a concept which is a prerequisite for Sandhi. Varnanam Atishaitaha Sannidhi Samhita. So, proximity between two letters is Samhita. When two letters or two Varnas are pronounced very close to each other, it is called a Samhita. They are pronounced in Samhita. For example, when we say Rama, we don't hear the R. A, m, a, separately. We just hear Rama as very closely pronounced uh, together. Similarly, when we say in a sentence, Rama Gachati, we, uh, when there is a, a gap of less than half a matra, then we say, we, uh, generally we say that it is pronounced in Samhita. So, Rama, the Visarka, becomes an Okara. By a series of changes, it becomes Okara, Ramo, Gachati. So, the closeness of pronunciation or the uh, speed with which you pronounce the different Varnas is the Samhita. What is Sandhi then? Generally, when we say Sandhi, we get this idea that two, two words are combined. And when we combine two words, some changes happen either to the last letter of the first word or the first letter of the uh, second word. Uh, but actually, Sandhihi is a change in the letters itself. It is not the joining process. It is the change in the letter. So, Varna Pyatyayaha Sandhihi, when the, there is a transmutation or change in the uh, varna, then it is a sandhi. So we see four uh, categories. Aham agachami and it becomes aham agachami. Saha vanam kachati. Sa vanam 
Kachchati. Here, we have changed the Makara into an Anuswara. Deva Alayaha Devalayaha Hare E Haraye. Now, in these four, the first one has a ha akara, then there is hakara. After hakara, there is an akara, which has made it ha. Then a hakara, a m, that is aham. A, then gakara, akara, chakara, chakara, akara, and makara, ikara. So that has become Ahamagachami. Here also we have the same letters. There is no change in letter. So this is a case where there is no sandhi. Just the way of writing it has changed. Aham agachami. And this is also Ahamagachami. So there is no change in pronunciation. And there is no change in letters. So this is not a sandhi. Here, the makara and akara, which are separate in the first part, have become ma. There is no change in letter. They still remain makara and akara. In the second one, the visarga has disappeared. Sir, uh, the visarga has disappeared and the makara has become a anuswara. Anuswara and makara are not the same. Uh, this is a purely nasal sound, the Anuswara, whereas Makara, we do pronounce with the lips. Deva Alayaha. Here, uh, it, is, it has become Devalayaha. In Deva Alayaha, at the end of Deva, there is an Akara. Beginning of Alayaha, there is an Akara. So, instead of an Akara and Akara, in Devalayaha, we have only one Dirgha A. So, there is, uh, in this, in, instead of akara and akara, we have one akara. So, this is a change in letters. So, it is a sandhi. Similarly, in haraye, hare a, this is within, uh, uh, how we got this form, hare a is not uh, important at the moment. What we need to know is hare and a give haraye. And in Hare, we have Akara, Re, Akara, Repa and Ekara, another Ekara. Whereas in Hare, we have Hakara, Akara, Repa, Akara and Yakara and Ekara. So there is obviously a change in letters. So there is Sandhi. So what are Sandhi Karyas? We know that Sandhi is change in letters. What kind of change can happen? The first one is an Adesha. Adesha is, uh, they say Adesha is Shatru Vada. Shatru is an enemy. So it is like an enemy in, in the sense that it replaces a Varna. The Adesha Varna replaces an existing Varna. So it, um, it uh, you know, kicks out one letter and comes in its place. So that is why it is Shatruvata or like an enemy. For example, iti and api has become ityapi. Where in iti we have ikara, takara, ikara. That is iti. In api it is akara, pakara and ikara. When it has become ityapi, it is ikara, takara, yakara. In the place of Ikara, now we have Yakara. So, Yakara has replaced Ikara. So, it is an Adesha. Followed by Akara, Pakara and Ikara. The second type is Agamaha. Agama, as the name itself suggests, it is coming in of a new letter. Mitravat Agamaha, they say. In the sense, it comes and sits next to you. So, Kurvan and Api are two words. There is an Akara at the end and Akara at the beginning of the next let, next word. So, Kurvan and Api, we have Kurvan Api. There is an extra 
nakara. So this is the breakup. Kakara, ukara, repa, vakara, akara, nakara. That is purvan. Akara, pakara, ikara, api. Then it has become kakara, ukara, repa, vakara, akara, nakara, purvan, another nakara, and then api. So purvan, api. So, so this is an example of agama. And the third variety is lopaha, adarshanam, lopaha, where you don't see it anymore. It is lopa. Ramaha agachati, Rama agachati. So the Visarga has elided. This is an example of lopa. Sandhi is a uh, varnakaryam. It is not a padakaryam. So what do we mean by that? It is important to note the differences in varnas. When two varnas, uh, not when two varnas, when a change in varna happens because of certain conditions, then there is sandhi. And in that, what is important is only the varna, not whether it is uh, the same pada or a different pada or whether it is a samastha pada. These things don't matter. When there is a condition for that particular sandhi to happen, the change in letter that happens is called a sandhi. So when a sandhi happens, uh, there is no change in the number of words. For example, we do a sandhi between two words. It doesn't mean it becomes one word. Sandhehe purvam yavanti padani sandhi. Sandhehe paramapi tavanti eva. When uh, before the sandhi, how many words were there? The, after the sandhi also, the same number of words will be there. Saha vanam gachati. Sa vanam gachati. In both, there are three words. There is no change in number of words. Even though the visarga has gone and the makara has become uh, anuswara. Now, this uh, will be more clear when we say Iti and api and ityapi. Ityapi is not a single word. They are still two words. And sandhi can also happen within a pada. So as I showed, hare and a, hare a. This is an example of sandhi happening within a word. So till now, if there are any questions, you can either type them out or ask. So these uh, details are not completely given in the textbook. Um, these are just general Sandhi concepts, which we need to be uh, clear before we, um, before we start off with the actual Sandhis. Will the Anuswar sound be there for Vanangachati? Vanang Gachati. So only the nasal sound is produced. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Only the nasal sound is heard. Yes, it will be there. But when we say vanam, we use the lips. So that is why uh, it is a natural thing. When we pronounce uh, these letters fast, we see that we do it even without knowing the sandhi roots. Okay. Not many questions then. We will go into the types of Sandhi. There are three types of Sandhi. Aj Sandhi, Hal Sandhi and Visarka Sandhi. The first is Aj or Swara related Sandhi. Where the Swara letter is replaced, we call it Aj Sandhi. Where the Vyanjana letters are replaced, they are called Hal Sandhi. We, we saw that Aj represents Swara. From the Maheshwara Sutrani table, we saw that Ach is the Swaras. Hal, starting from Hakara till the final Hal Sutra, it is the uh, all the Vyanjanas, list of the Vyanjanas. And so it is called the Hal Sandhi, Vyanjana Sandhi. And for Visarka, there are separate modifications. It, it, it can take on various changes depending on different conditions, which we will be seeing a little later. So where should a sandhi be done? Uh, in the textbook, this is given as sandhi, but it will be more appro appropriate to have this as samgita. Uh, 
rather than saying where should closeness of words be found, uh, they have given us where should a sandhi be found. Um, for at this level, it is okay. Uh, a sandhi is compulsory in certain places and it is optional in certain other places, which is given in this particular karika. I will explain this karika. Sandhi reka pade nityo nityo dhatu pasargayoho samase picha nitya syat sa cha anyatra vivakshaya. I will split the sandhis and say the uh, same shloka. Sandhihi ekapade nityaha nityaha dhatu upasarka yoho samase api cha nityaha syat saha cha anyatra vivakshaya which means in a single word ekapade sandhihi nityaha there should be sandhi or samhita is uh, definitely Required within a word, you cannot pronounce the letters individually, then it won't make sense. Nityaha dhatu upasarga yoho and upasarga and dhatu have to be pronounced really close. So there should be samhita or samhita will be compulsory between a upasarga and a dhatu. Samase api cha nityaha. Even in samasas, you cannot, if there are two or more words in a samasa, they have to be pronounced close to each other. You cannot give a pause between the words given in the samasa. So, samase api cha nityaha. Uh, syat should be, syat is the condition, it should be this way. Saha sandhi, saha refers to the sandhi. Cha anyatra, in other places. In the sense, in a sentence, you have the option of uh, pronouncing the different words in a sentence, either close together or separately. That option we do have. In other places, which means in a single word, between a dhatu and upasarga and within a samasa, they are compulsory. It is compulsory. So, sandhihi ekapade nityaha. As in hare e hare it has to be done. You can you cannot say I will pronounce it as hare e. It has to be hare e. Nitya dhatu upasarka yoho upa agachadi upa agachadi. You cannot say that I will give a pause between upa and agachadi. Samase apisa nitya rama ayanam rama ayanam. So here all the, uh, even the natva, everything happens when it is pronounced together. Such anyatra vivakshaya syat. Prathama ekavachanam. Prathama ekavachanam. So these are two different words. Prathama ekavachanam. Prathama ekavachanam. So there we can optionally join them together and make the sati. Now the types of achsandhi are given. Just these are words. Familiarize yourself with these words. We'll anyway be seeing all of this in detail. Dirgha uh, sandhihi, as the name itself suggests, it is where a dirgha letter replaces, as we saw, uh, the hraswa and the hraswa or the two dirghas are replaced by a dirgha letter. It is also called uh, savaran dirgha sandhi because it is it always happens between two savarna letters. Savarna is between akara akara on one side and akara akara on the other side. So it has to be the same letter. Uh, ikara ikara on one side and ikara ikara on the other side also. So whatever uh, alpha, a swara comes on one side, the same swara either in Haraswadirga or Pluta form should come on the other side also. So, so that's why it's called Savarna Dirgha. Priddhi Sandhi is uh, another uh, Ach Sandhi. Yan, Aya, Ai, Av, Ai, Av has become Ayavaya Sandhi. Purvarupa Sandhi. Pararupa Sandhi. Sometimes there can be a Sandhi Abhava. So that is called Prakriti Bhava. That is 
uh, in some places, sandhi should not be done. Even though all the conditions are satisfied, we refrain from doing sandhi and that is called prakriti bhava. We will be seeing all of this soon. So we'll start at sandhi. Dirgha sandhi is the simplest one, which we just saw. The sutra is also mentioned in the textbook, so I'm giving it akaha savarne dirgha. So as I told you, akvarna, let me go back to the Maheshwara Sutra slide so you can see what Ak is. Here, we start with Akara and end with the K at the end. Where is it? Here. In this, at the end of the second Sutra, we have Kakara as the Itvarna. So we get the abbreviation Ak. Starting from a and ending with k. This k is not included, neither is this nakara included. So akara, ikara, ukara, ukara, rikara, and likara. These five are referred to as akvarnas. So akaha, savarne, dirghaha. So when there is an ak letter and it is followed by a savarna ak letter, savarne is uh, in saptami. So, followed by um, a savarna ak letter, then we get a dirgha of the same uh, letter. So, if a and a are combined, we get a. Or if a and a are combined, also we get a. The re it is replaced, both are replaced only by a dirgha. This is the rule. So, akaha, savarane, dirgha. So, a, a, i, e, u, u, r, r, and l. These are represented by the abbreviation ak. So, a, a, or i, e, or u, u, or r, r. If it is the last swara of the first word, as I told you, this is not necessarily when two words are combining alone. It can be anywhere. Uh, when there is akara, akara, and it is followed by uh, the same swara, swar, savarna swara, the first swara of the second word, then we get uh, a, a, and a, a become dirgha, akara. In the place of e, e, and e, e on the uh, other side, we get a dirgha swara ikara. So both are simultaneously replaced by the dirgha. We do not say that the first akara is deleted or the second akara changes into uh, akara changes into the dirgha. No. What happens is in, in the place of the first and the second savarna swaras, we get the dirgha version of the same letter. So e or e followed by E or E again gets the dirgha, E kara. Similarly for U kara, U, U or, uh, I'm sorry, followed by U and U gets the dirgha, U kara. And R kara also, the hraswa R kara or the dirgha, R kara followed by the same savarna swara becomes the dirgha version, the R kara. We will see some examples. This somebody can try. I've spoken too much now. <laughs> Sri Ram Venkatesh. Can you unmute yourself? Sri Ram Venkatesh. Acharya? Yeah. Atra Asti. Atra Atra um, Atra Asti. Atra Asti. So what has happened here? Atra uh, is there. In Asti, there is Akara followed by Sti. 
So two this two hours joined. Two akaras have joined, and in the place of these two akaras, we have a dirgha akara. That is akaha savarni dirgha. A is an ak letter. It is followed by a savarna ak letter a, and in the place of the two, we have akara, which is a dirgha. Good. Atrasti. Next one is dharma. Dharma plus artha hai. Dharma artha hai. Dharma artha hai. Dharma akara followed by akara and ritha hai. Dharma artha hai. Dharma artha hai. Shashang. Shashang plus anka hai. Shashang. Shashang ka hai. Shashang ka hai. Rama Ayanam. Rama Ayanam. Rama Ayanam. Ayanam. Rama Ayanam. Yes. Here, Nakara also changes. It has become Rama Ayanam. You can try a few more. Akara with Akara. Srinam Venkatesh, are you there? Achari, I am muted Achari. Atra Gacha. Atra and A Gacha. There is Haraswa Akara on one side, on the other side, A Akara. Atra Gacha. Atra Gacha. Hima Hima plus Aya Himalaya Himalaya Shishta plus Acharya Shishta Acharya Shishta and Acharya Shishta Acharya Next we have Akara on one side and Akara on the other Vidya plus Abhyasa Vidya Abhyasa Vidya Abhyasa Vidya plus Adipati hi, Vidya Pati hi, Vidya Adipati hi. Vidya Adipati hi, Vidya plus Adipati hi, Vidya, Vidya Adipati hi. Vidya plus Arthi, Vidya Arthi, Vidya Arthi. Vidya plus Arthi, Vidya Arthi. Samyo, Thanya Vada Shri. Thanya Vada Shri. Next, both are Dirgha Akaras. Vani Krishna Vanya Bhagini. Namaste Bhagini. Rama Rama Rama. Namaste. Vidya plus Arambhaha. Vidya Arambhaha. Vidya Arambhaha. Vidya plus Alayaha. Vidya Alayaha. Krida plus Anandaha, Krida Anandaha. Yes. Daya plus Anandaha, Dayanandaha. Daya. With Ikara. Muni plus Indraha, Muni Indraha. Muni Indraha. Kavihi plus Kavi plus Icha, Kavicha. Yes. So here it is not the uh, padam kavi, but mm. it is the uh, samastha pada. So there okay. is just one pada. It is with, between, we said that in a samasa, sandhi or sama, uh, the samhita is compulsory. So kavi and icha, when we combine it in a samasa, only the pratipadika is what the uh, this open, I mean, the vibhakti pratyaya is added at the end of the second word. Kavi plus icha, kavi icha. Kavi icha. Ati icha, ati icha. Ikara and ikara. Giri plus ishaha, giri ishaha. Giri plus ishaha, giri ishaha. Asti 
प्लस ईश्वर अस्तीश्वर so this is in a sentence where asti is a separate word and ishwaraha is a separate word so we don't know the context so we don't have to look at whether they are uh, there is any uh, in whether it makes sense or not the combined thing asti ishwaraha so it is just that we are pronouncing them together it need not make sense kavi plus iha kaviha Mahi plus Indraha, Mahindraha. Mahi plus Indraha, Bindraha. Gauri plus Iha. Gauri Iha. Gauri Iha. The Ikara and Ikara have been replaced by one single Ikara. Ikara. Sita plus Iti. Sati plus Iti. Oh, sorry. Sati plus Iti. Satiti. Satiti. Both are Dirgha Ikaras. Yes. Gauri plus Ishaha. Gauri Shaha. Gauri plus Ishaha. Gauri Shaha. Lakshmi plus Ishaha. Lakshmi Shaha. Sharvari plus Ishaha Sharvari Shaha Ishaha. Try it to Ukara Ukara plus Ukara Swadu Swadu plus Vishnam Swadu. स्वादुष्ण Pano Yad Yad Yadu plus Udvaha Yadu Dvaha Yadu Dvaha Yadu Samyakani. And then I had a doubt in that term. Kavi plus Icha, you said there's some Samastha Padama, I didn't understand that. Kavi plus Icha. Oh, okay. Yes, so in a samastha pada, uh, we do not hear the visarga, kavihi and icha. We don't say kavihi because what uh, in a samastha pada, the, both the pratipadikas are combined together first and then the vibhakti is added to the compound word. So uh, you don't hear the uh, visarga in between. It is not the prathama ekavachana. It is the pratikadikam that is there in the word, which has combined with icha. Okay, so it is not kavihi, it is kavi. It is kavi. Okay. So that is why, uh, so Rama also, we, we don't hear it as Rama. Huh? Rama plus ayanam, Ramayana. Rama. So the pratikadika is what combines. Dhanyavada. Namaste, good morning. Namaste. Ramana. Who plus who? Yeah. Ukara plus Ukara. Lagu plus Urmigi, Lagurmigi. 
ਤਗੂਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਵਾਦੂ ਪਲਸ ਊਸ਼ ਊਸ਼ਮਲਮ ਸਾਦੂਸ਼ਮਲਮ ਸਾਦੂਸ਼ਮਲਮ ਪਟੂ ਉਹ ਉਹ ਹੈ ਪਟੂ ਹੈ ਹੈ ਪਟੂ ਪਲਸ ਉਹ ਹੈ ਪਟੂ ਹੈ ਹੈ ਵਦੂ ਪਲਸ ਵਦਵਾਹ ਹੈ ਹੈ ਵਦੂ ਵਾਹ ਹੈ ਵਦੂ ਵਾਹ ਹੈ ਵਦੂ ਪਲਸ ਉਪਹਾਰ ਹੈ ਵਦੂ ਪਹਾਰ ਹੈ ਹੈ ਵਦੂ ਪਹਾਰ ਹੈ ਬੋਤਰ ਦੀਰਖਸ ਵਦੂ ਪਲਸ ਉਰ ਮਿਲਾ ਬਥੂ ਮਿਲਾ ਇੰਦਰਕਾਰ ਆ ਬੋਥ ਸਾਈਜ਼ ਸੋ ਸੰਧੀ ਇਸ ਵਿਦ ਰਕਾਰਾ ਐਂਡ ਲਕਾਰਾ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਰੇਅਰ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਯੂਜੂਅਲੀ ਦਿਸ ਇਸ ਦੀ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਪਿਤਰ ਪਲਸ ਰਨਮ ਪਿਤਰ 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 ਪਲਸ ਰਨਮ ਦ ਦ ਲਾਸਟ ਵਰਡ ਦ ਤ੍ਰਨਮ ਇਸ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਨਾਟ ਬੀ ਦ ਅਦਰ ਤ੍ਰ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਦੀ ਦ ਲੈਟਰ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਦ ਹੀਅਰ ਹੀਅਰ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਦ ਇਨਸਟੈਂਡ ਆਫ ਦ ਹਰਸਵ ਰੋਂਗਲੀ ਦ ਦੀਰਘ ਇਸ ਗਿਵਨ ਦਿਸ ਹੈਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਚੇਂਜਡ ਆ here yeah, this is the dirgha yeah then the, the result also should be shouldn't it be this that, is, that? Uh, usually you get one uh, c like thing below here it is an inverted 3 so this is the dirgha rgha pitrana can we use the other dirgha letter the pitru in that in the third uh, pit yes. yeah pit in the last plus, column yeah. yes ha uh-huh. pit plus r kar this is correct this is the dirgha no no can you use this letter in the last one pitrunam the r oh there ah oh, okay okay no the gunita uh, akshara is like this with takara this is the way in which we write the gunita akshara the dirgha r kar yukta takara okay thanyavad pitrunam so now we have some exercises ma chandrashekhar namaste bhagini namaskar shri teva ram ram adhikam agacha ram agacha ram agacha hari adhikam ishah harishah adishah guru adhikam udayah gurudayah gurudaya vara adikam aranyam vara varanyam vararanyam vararanyam kshametam shachi plus yesha shachi yesha chi yesha karotu adikam udah karotu udah karotu udah karotu udah samyak bhagini dhanyavad श्री रंजनी मोहन राम जी हरि नमस्ते नमस्ते कटु कटु प्लस उष्ण कठोष्ण कठोष्ण कटु कटु प्लस उष्ण कठोष्ण कठोष्ण स्वादु प्लस उपहार है स्वादूपहार मधु प्लस उदकम मधुदकम चित्रा प्लस आकृति ही चित्रा कृति ही हिमह हिम प्लस हिम प्लस अचल हिमाचल हिमाचल मत 
the next word i don't see me oh raja and asanam raja asanam rajas samyak bhi dhanyavad dhanyavad so there are some questions we must take them before we proceed Ah, so there is somebody who asks, can we use avagraha symbol? So this avagraha symbol uh, is not compulsory. It can be used because sometimes when we use two dirgha akaras, uh, so vidya alaya. So in such cases, it is easier. It makes uh, reading easier if we use our grahas. But that itself is a very, very uh, recent concept. I am told that it is not at all necessary to use it. Just to make things easier for the reader, uh, it has come into practice, and it is okay to use it. So, because of the presence of our graha, uh, we cannot categorize. We cannot decide which sandhi it is. But our graha can be used definitely. Ah, will it be possible to give the meanings of the combined words? Yes, probably we can do it in the next class. So I should have Pitra with one C. No, the Dirgha has uh, the inverted three, but in between, I think one Dirgha Rikara was given by mistake. We'll stop here because we have run out of the time. We will continue this in the next class. And since it's Wednesday, maybe you can. So there is this lesson 21, which we have not done. Uh, you can try to identify the Dirgha Sandhis in the lesson. So when we do the lesson, you can uh, indicate where the Dirgha Sandhis have happened because we know Dirgha Sandhis now. Uh, so that can be the homework for this week. Shanti Mandra. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kaschitu Kabhadhave Om Shanti 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 Shanti